The second message is for a certain man, but as is the custom with me, I don't mention people's names in prophecies because we are not doing it to gain any popularity. We are doing it to fulfill the purpose and the will of God. So I'm going to read the message. The message is entitled A, a Brother in Kisum. The, the man in question stays in Western Kenya. I don't know him personally. I know that he is there. Look at your neighbor and say he knows that he is there. <clears throat> there is a brother who is a relatively young man who stays in Kisumu City. I've seen him twice in earlier visions in my prayer closet. I don't know him at a personal level, and I've never met him face to face. But I've seen him twice in earlier visions, very clear visions. I don't know whether he is a Christian or not. So, because I don't know him, I don't even know whether he's born again or not. Uh, his work involves blogging on the internet. He's very much involved in internet-related issues. He is a blogger on the internet. I don't know whether it's his main job or he works somewhere. Maybe he works somewhere. His life was not easy from the time he was born. These are things now that I was told by the Spirit of God. He worked his way up with the help of God. He comes from a modest family. I don't want to call it a poor family, but the Holy Spirit said I must call it a modest family. And then I saw two visions. The first vision is as follows. There were three of us, a Maasai chief. So in most of my visions this past seven days, I've been seeing myself with the Maasai people. Hallelujah. I've never gone to Maasai land. I've never been to Narok. The furthest I have gone in Kenya is Nairobi. I believe I will go to Narok one of these days to pray there. If, to, if not to do a meeting, just to see the town and pray for the Spirit of God to hit the place. I will clear my brothers and sisters. So in the vision, there were three of us. So there were three of us, a Maasai chief, like a community leader in, in the land of the Maasai. This same brother that I'm talking about, and myself. So in the, at, in the first scene of the vision, we met at the home of the Maasai chief. After a brief meeting, the Maasai chief led me and the brother consent to a very high mountain in Kenya. It looked like Mount Kenya, but it was higher than it. You know things in the spirit, you can see things which don't exist in the natural, as though they exist in the natural. So when we arrived at the crest of that mountain, we could see Kenya up to the Indian Ocean. Again, in the spirit, all things are possible, even things which are not possible in the natural, and to Lake Victoria. So when you look west, we could see Lake Victoria, which is near Uganda. When you look to the coast, we could see the Indian Ocean. It was a very high mountain. We prayed for about three hours in the vision there, on that mysterious mountain. After our prayers, we sat on the mountain facing the eastern direction. The Maasai chief stood up and started prophesying upon this same man that I'm referring to and said God has chosen him to be one of the prominent leaders in that country in the near future. So this brother at the present moment, he is a political analyst or something. He's a blogger on the internet. But the Holy Spirit is saying God has chosen him to be one of the prominent leaders in that nation in the near future. I don't know how prominent, it's only God who knows. He says he will need many intercessors to pray for him and his family for protection, so that he, the prophecy is not claimed by so many blockers in Western Kenya. This brother that I'm talking about, one of his children or his child was injured recently. His child was injured recently. We'll leave it at that. So after the prophetic words of the Maasai chief, 
I felt led to pour some, some, some olive oil on this plant. He knelt down and then I poured olive oil. I didn't say anything. He, all this was happening in, in a vision. And then vision number two. In the second vision, I saw the same brother, uh, but now he was in parliament. He was no longer, we were no longer in the bush. He was now in the parliament of Kenya. At another time, I saw him in a meeting where he and other prominent leaders in Kenya were in attendance, and there was a foreign delegation from, from Western countries. That says the Spirit of God, we need to pray for this brother. God wants to elevate him in Kenya so that he becomes one of the key leaders in the near future. God has given him unusual intelligence and wisdom, and God has given him a sharp eye on national events. So he didn't decide on his own to focus on national events. It's God who is preparing his heart and his mind for service at a later time. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? So the wisdom that is going to exhibit, it's not a wisdom that he learned in a classroom. It is wisdom which he will be receiving from above. Hallelujah. It's wisdom that he will be receiving from above.